going to discuss ligneous conjunctivitis in this presentation. Uh, let's start with introduction. Ligneous conjunctivitis is a very rare, potentially sight and even life-threatening disorder characterized by recurrent, often bilateral fibrin-rich pseudomembranous lesions of wood-like consistency that develop mainly on the tarsal conjunctiva. It is generally a systemic condition and may involve the periodontal tissue, the upper and lower respiratory tract, kidneys, middle ear, and female genitalia. Death can occasionally occur from pulmonary involvement. In susceptible patients, abnormal patterns of damage repair are found, particularly a failure of normal clearance of products of the acute stages of the healing process. This is manifested predominantly in mucosal tissue. A deficiency in plasmin-mediated fibrinolysis may be a key common factor in many patients. Episodes may be triggered by relatively minor trauma or by systemic events such as fever and antifibrinolytic therapy. Diagnosis on histopathology shows amorphous subepithelial deposits of eosinophilic material consisting predominantly of fibrin. Uh, there is this histopathological figure here uh, which shows eosinophilic fibrinous coagulum on the surface of conjunctiva here. You can see the red stain is eosinophilic as we remember. Now, patients usually present with non-specific conjunctivitis, usually in childhood. Median age is five years, although onset may be at any age. A conjunctival lesion is commonly noted by parents. Uh, on examination, there is gradually enlarging red-white lobular conjunctival masses. Uh, they are seen in the pictures you can see uh, in the eyes of this child, there are masses here. Here. And in the other eye as well. And this zoomed in picture shows these masses very clearly. All of them. And they are usually covered by a thick yellow-white mucoid discharge. Corneal scarring, vascularization, infection or melting may also uh, be a presentation. Now, treatment tends to be unsatisfactory and spontaneous resolution is rare. It is important to discontinue any antifibrinolytic drugs. Uh, the first treatment modality is surgical removal with meticulous diathermy as it is shown in the figure here uh, of the base of the lesion. Uh, Pre-operative topical plasminogen may be used to soften the pseudomembranes and facilitate removal. Uh, topical treatment involves uh, following membrane removal, hourly heparin and steroids. Uh, they are commenced immediately and continued until the wounds have re-epithelialized with subsequent tapering over several weeks until all signs of inflammation have disappeared. Recurrence may be retarded by long-term cyclosporin and uh, steroid installations. Other modalities of treatment are intravenous or topical plasminogen, amniotic membrane, a transplantation to the conjunctiva following lesion removal. Prophylactic heparin treatment may be of benefit prior to ocular surgery in at-risk patients. Uh, so that's it for the uh, ligneous conjunctivitis. Uh, but we are going to discuss uh, a little bit about paranoid oculoglandular syndrome, uh, which is a rare condition consisting of chronic low grade fever, unilateral granulomatous conjunctivitis, with surrounding follicles and ipsilateral regional preauricular lymphadenopathy. Uh, it is synonymous with cat scratch disease caused by Bartonella hensili, and we have discussed this in uveitis, which I will link in the uh, video. But 
there are several other clauses which need uh, to be mentioned and need to be implicated here, including tularemia, uh, insect hair called ophthalmia medusum, treponema pallidum or syphilis, sporotrichosis, tuberculosis, and acute uh, chlamydia trichomatis infection. Uh, so that's it with uh, uh, ligneous conjunctivitis and paranoid ocular glandular syndrome. Uh, if you like the lecture, please press on the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.